Hi guys, this is sort of a quick update to my channel and to show you what I've been up to. I'm still trying to deal with my ancient little GoPro here, so I hope this works and my color isn't too off balance. Until I strike it rich, I'll be using my old GoPro tied to a stick that is taped to a chair. And I'm serious, you would laugh so hard if you saw my art desk and my setup. And I've got this cheap desk lamp and a $12 microphone that actually sounds better than the mic on my laptop. As you can see, I've got a pile of handmade journals here. At this point, most are all listed in my Etsy shop now. And the good news is, since I was working in my Etsy shop this weekend, I really dropped my prices on all of my instant downloadable files. So what's up with this pile of art journals? Well, it started out with me simply wanting to make a couple of little ACEO art card books. And once I got into the groove of things, I made this whole pile of books. I do a lot of miniature 2.5 by 3.5 inch paintings because there's a lot of people on eBay who collect them. So I decided to make a few booklets that are just watercolor paper and not very many pages. My idea was that I might fill them up with little paintings that are sort of all one theme and then sell the whole collection as a book of originals. And I haven't even started on that project yet. I've been making the covers with India ink on brown paper. India ink is waterproof when it dries, so it works out great when I go over it all with Mod Podge to seal the cover paper. If you'd like to see my whole process, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'd probably have to split it into a few different videos. So, I ended up making this whole pile of what I'm calling artist and writer's journals. I see so many people working in their sketchbooks and also doing a lot of writing in them. And as we all know, watercolor paper can get expensive if you're just going to paint on one little corner and then do a bunch of writing. And... I was also thinking about people who like to travel and do some urban sketching, as well as making notes of their travels, and even wanting a sort of keepsakes journal, where they keep things like museum ticket stubs, or their receipt from their favorite cafe, or perhaps a coffee shop where they sat and did some sketching or painting. I made a variety of sketchbook or painting journals with different sorts of art papers and journal papers. I plan on making more, so I'll continue to expand my selection. I'm keeping tags in my books so I know what kinds of art papers I'm using and what the page counts are in the books and stuff, as well as a big number in the ones that are listed on Etsy for sale. Definitely, every book is one of a kind. Some of the journals have a pretty colorful sort of pastel watercolor looking printer paper in them for writing on or gluing in little keepsakes. And some of them I used some hand dyed white printer paper that I made myself a while back. I used some watered down India ink to dye the papers. And since they are hand dyed papers, they aren't as totally iron flat as the factory made papers. I actually love the look of them and the pages not being totally flat doesn't bother me at all. I'm sure once people start painting and writing and gluing stuff onto the pages, it's going to look more and more like a used 
fluffy sort of junk journal anyway. So far, I've got a variety of watercolor paper to choose from. Some hot press and some cold press. And a few different brands too. The hot press is really best for people who like to sketch and use ink pens and stuff. Actually, the hot press is my favorite kind of paper to work on. And some of these books have a heavy Canson illustration paper in them that I had in my art stash. At least one of these books has some nice sketchbook paper instead of the really heavy watercolor paper in it. And I'm definitely going to make some more of those. Now that I've got the hang of making these little books, and my method seems to be working out great, I'll probably make several larger books too, and maybe even try some cloth covers. I've always loved the art of book binding, and I first learned how to do it about 25 years ago. In my Etsy ads, I'm also offering to make up a journal of whatever kinds of paper and sizes that people might want. The way I'm designing these journals, the cover itself is sewn right onto the book, just as the outer signatures. So there's no need for anything across the spine of the books, other than a little reinforcing cloth. That way, the books will open up and lay totally flat. And with the hard covers on them, they are perfect for traveling and sketching or painting on the go. In the future, I might make some with the Coptic binding, where the cover is also sewn onto the book, and the spine is totally exposed. And the books will still lay very flat. They just have a very different look about them. I've still got a few books sitting here waiting to be finished up with the cover. And I've already got some of the cover papers made but I'm still waiting for some more supplies too.
So I just wanted to show you what I've been up to in this video and soon I'll try to make some videos of my whole process. I've been having way too much fun making these journals but soon I'll get back to some more paintings. I hope you are exploring your own creativity and letting the stress of life melt away. And thanks for stopping by.